All right, when you're using Google Sheets, you're probably used to putting numbers in the cells. Sometimes you can put text in the cells, but there's a new data type called a smart chip, and that will take the data that you put into a cell and connect it to another Google service. So for example, you could put a calendar event into a cell and then connect that to Google Calendar, and it's going to give you access to more information about that specific calendar entry. Let's say it's an appointment. All right, so we're going to go over how to get them into your sheet and how to use them in this video. I have a list of different types of smart chips here, but before we go into the specifics of each one, let's back up one step and talk about what I really mean by data type. So you have a little context of what I mean when I say this is kind of a new type of data. Let's go to this worksheet called data types. And so let's do a traditional data type here. I'll just type in a number. 123 and I'll run the type function on it and the function returns a one which just means that that's a number we'll do a piece of text so I will say 123 Main Street I'll run the type function on that so I'll just copy and paste it it returns a two which means it's text all right so as we go through these I have the reference on the right hand side I'll put a link to that. I'll put it in a card right now and also put it in the description uh, for the type function. We will skip over Boolean error and array because they're a little bit more obscure and not really relevant to smart chips. But I'm going to put the type function in here one more time. I'll point it at A4. There's nothing in there right now, so it thinks it's a zero, so it's returning a one like it's a number. But what we will do is we'll put a smart chip in here. So let's copy and paste 123 Main Street. That's still text, right? But we will delete it and we will type the at sign, which is one of two ways to insert these. We'll go over that in a second. But we'll say 123 Main Street again. And Sheets is suggesting these possibilities. We'll enter this smart chip. Hit enter and the data type changes to a 128 because this is no longer a number, it's not text, it's something different. It's a smart chip and let's talk about what that means. Let's go back to smart chips. These are the different types and we'll go down, we'll just do Google Drive uh, because, well, really because I don't use my calendar much on this account and I do have a lot of files so this is a good one to illustrate things that you can do with a smart chip. So first we'll talk about the two different ways to enter them. The first is to go up to the insert menu, come down to smart chips, and we'll say we're going to enter a file smart chip. So it gets ready and it's already filtered this list to just show files. This happens to be showing only Google Sheets files, so I'll type something where I know it's going to be uh, Google Docs. And as you start to type the name, you can see that in typical Google fashion, it just starts searching all of your files and returning the possible matches. And it's not just workspace files. So you do see sheets, you see docs, but it's also returning image files and it would be anything else that's saved in Google Drive. So actually let's pick an image. We'll say finance hover, we'll hit enter. And you see it gets this gray background, kind of a rounded rectangle. That is a, a visual indication that it's a smart chip. Type enter and it puts it into the cell. Let's adjust our width a little bit here. We'll maximize this window. And we have a smart chip in here now. Now a faster way to do it if you uh, are more of a keyboard entry person is to type the at sign. And then let's get that file again. Let's just start typing the name of the file. Okay, so it found a lot of files that start with the word finance and one of them is the right one. We'll click on that with our mouse and it inserted that smart file chip again. You can do it either way, whichever is easiest for you. Now we had talked about how these are other data types. It's not text, but you can still do some operations on them. So if you're trying to access them through a formula. Let's just do one that counts the number of characters. Uh, look at the length of it. It still can look at the number of characters and count it. It's 17, right? So the point of that is just to show you that it, it is still accessible in some of the traditional ways, 
but then there's also some expanded abilities. So let's delete that. So you could change the color of the text, right? And you can change the background. So again, that's just an example of how it does operate in some ways like a traditional data type, but in others, it really expands what you can do. So the first thing you can do is let's just hover over it and then you get this pop-up. Now oh, I got confused because this is about a stock, but it's still an image. So we're not in the finance data type. This is an image of a finance data type. Boy, that's confusing. Let me put in another type of file chip. Let's type in sum. All right, this is another type of file that's not a picture of another smart chip, so it's not weird. Okay, there we go. So when you hover over it, you already get some extended capabilities. So one thing that you can do is that you can copy a link. So if I do copy link and I open up a new tab and I paste that link, it brings me right to the file in Google Drive. And then you have access to all these different apps if you want to modify the file. You can download it. or move it around. All right, so that's a great example of how now we're connected to Google Drive from Google Sheets all through a smart chip. So let's get rid of that. We'll go back to the smart chips. We'll hover over it again. And this is telling us a little bit more saying I'm the owner and there's been no cha changes since the last time you viewed this file. So maybe that's all you need. It's telling you some important data here as well as just showing you a preview of the file. But if you want to extend this further, there's a concept called data extractions. So you can go down and click on it over from the hover card here. So we'll just click on it and it will bring up different attributes that you can pull out of the data chip. So these are specific to the type of smart chip. So these are the attributes that are available for a file chip. It wouldn't be relevant to every other type of chip. So we'll just click on all of them. We'll hit extract and it wants your permission. We'll say yes. And then it brings all of this other data into the spreadsheet, all based on the file chip in cell E10. Right? And the other way to access these extractions is if you, uh, you want to do it with a formula. Let's type the equal sign, which is the way you tell Google Sheets that you're starting to type in a formula. We'll point it to E10, and if you hit a period, it shows you all of the available extractions. So I just want to, uh, let's say, write out the creation time. When I made that, hit enter, and that's the time that you created the file. Now let's take this full circle and run the type function on that data, and it returns a one, so you have a smart chip of the file chip variety with a number in the form of a date being extracted from it. Okay, kind of cool. To touch briefly on these other smart chip types, you have a calendar. So this will allow you to bring in calendar appointments, look at start times, end times, locations. Really handy. Google Finance is a little bit more limited. It will give you a hover card. So let's do at General Electric GE, right? We'll scroll down. Finance, there we go. And if you hover over it, you'll get the hover card. You can even have a link to look at the details of that. That will bring you to Google Finance. Uh, but this one is a little bit unique in that it doesn't offer any extractions. So when you hit the period, nothing comes up. And that's mostly because the Google Finance function has a lot more power than the extractions. So you can still use Google Finance to work with stock data and you can't do it through the extractions. I'll link to a video about Google Finance if you want to learn more about that. And there's other smart chips here and they're all, they all have their own abilities. Let's look at, uh, say myself and a people smart chip. And this even has the ability to notify people. You can see that from this pop up in the bottom, right? And when you hover over it, you can send an email, you can schedule an event with this person and it's connecting to Google contacts. All right, the Google Maps connection is kind of neat because it offers some extended abilities. When you hover over it and you click on view directions, 
you get Google Maps in the sidebar, you tell it where to start from. Let's say 123 Melrose Street. You'll get directions for it. And of course, the most important one is you can connect to YouTube, right? So if we go to YouTube, I'll type in a great search term. Ah, look what comes up, a video from Prolific Oak Tree. And if you wanted to put this in sheets, you can grab that URL for the video. So we'll hit copy, come back over to sheets, paste it in the sheets, and it says press tab to replace it with a smart chip. So we'll do that. Same deal, hover over it, you get extra information. Or we're going to dive a little bit deeper into extracting data from these smart chips. We'll link to the video right now about how to do that. And I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching.